Like I knocked out banger after banger after banger this month. One, two, three, let's switch this up. Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to be going through all of the books that I read in the month of February and telling you my ratings and my general thoughts and basically a review of all of those books. So if that sounds interesting then keep on watching. So I think if I'm doing the math right I think I did seven books in the month of February which is a lot considering the fact that February is a short month and usually I do about four or five maybe six in a good month so the fact that I got through seven I'm like okay I'm like kind of impressed with myself I'm not gonna you know lie I mean it's nothing compared to what you know a lot of other people read like 20 books in a month not on that level but for me that's pretty impressive but I think it's because two of those books were like on the shorter ish side the first two books that I read this month um, I did a whole reading vlog on so if you want to know like my like more in-depth thoughts on these books you can check out that reading vlog I have it linked but the first book that I read and the second book that I read was the Valentine's Hate and the do-over so the Valentine's Hate was by Sydney is it Halston and the do-over is by Lynn Painter so I did a whole like Valentine's related reading vlog for both of these I gave the Valentine's Hate what did I give it three stars and I gave The Do-Over five stars. The Do-Over was definitely one of the best books that I've read so far this year. Granted, um, it's very early, it's only February. Well, it's March now, but <laughs> it was only February when I read it. But that book was fantastic. I don't really have any real negative things to say about it. It is a like YA rom-com. It basically is about this girl who is repeating Valentine's Day over and over again and all these like terrible things happen to her. Um, she, her, she catches her boyfriend cheating on her. She gets into a car accident. There's a bunch of crazy things that happen and so every time the day repeats she's trying to do different things to a stop these bad things from happening and b trying to get this day to stop repeating so it was really good i loved it it was funny it was exactly what i was hoping it would be it was everything that i was expecting it to be and then some so five stars for that and then the valentine's hate um that book was okay it was that was one of the books that was one of the shorter books i forget how many pages it was it might have been like 270 something like that um but it basically was about this girl who had this childhood enemy that she'd known since like kindergarten or second grade or something and so now it's like 30 years later and you know they've they went to school together they've gone their separate ways after uh, high school graduation and so now she's going to her best friend's wedding it's a destination wedding I think in Cancun or somewhere and her childhood enemy also just so happens to be staying at the same resort that she's staying in and he's there for he's not there for the wedding he's there for uh, a book conference or a book signing or something he basically is an author who wrote a fantasy sci-fi series and the book is being adapted into a movie and so they're basically doing press for the book and for the movie so that's why he's there and long story short they end up having to fake date so it's enemies to lovers fake dating but yeah it wasn't anything that was like mind-blowing like it was fine I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it but I also wouldn't like discourage anyone from reading it like if that sounds interesting then like go for it it was funny like it had its funny moments um, but it definitely is not the funniest book that I've read this year. I've definitely read at least two other books that were significantly more funny than that book, The Do-Over being one of them. Um, so yeah, it was fine. The next book that I read was Passing by Nella Larson. Now this is a book that I read for my book club and then also Heather from, is it Heroes and Heroines? I'll link it down below. But her book club also read it for the month of February. Um, so she and I, along with a couple of other booktubers, Courtney from Tangible Reads, Nicole from, um, what is it, Dusty Book Sniffers. Um, you know, we all did a live discussion for that book and that is over on Heather's channel. So I will link that down below as well. Um, but yeah, this book I rated, I think I gave it 3.5 stars it wasn't bad it just was very short and the way that it ended it ended with like basically a cliffhanger this book is basically about two women both are white passing so they're black women but their skin is light enough that they could pass as white um, and so one of them chooses to pass and the other one chooses not to pass um, so it's basically just about them reconnecting they were childhood friends is a strong word they were like childhood acquaintances um who of course like went their separate ways as they got older and so then they end up meeting each other you know randomly unexpectedly in this hotel um, or at this restaurant 
and they start reconnecting and there's a lot of discussion of course around race but it was a very interesting book I will say that it was very interesting there were a lot of moments um, or a lot of lines and things that I remember highlighting and being like hmm like you know just things that were like very thought-provoking or insightful um, so I did like that but I think the book was very short like I said I think it's like a hundred something pages or I don't even think it's 200 pages is it yeah I think it's like under 200 pages um, and the way that it ends, I feel like it ended at the climax. Like for most stories in general, there's usually like the introduction, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the resolution. This book, you get the intro, the rising action, the climax, and the book just ends there. Like there's no, there's nothing that comes after it. Like this book definitely would have benefited from um, either some extra chapters to follow up or an epilogue, like something because it just ends very open-ended and a lot of things are unresolved <laughs> and it's just like it leaves you wanting more. Passing was also one of the books that I used not only for the book club pick but also it served as my buzzword for the month of February which is a verb so passing is a verb so I used it for that. The next book that I read was one of my favorites from this year so far and it is Ace by Angela Chen. The full name is not Ace it's called it has a long title ace what asexuality reveals about desire society and the meaning of sex so a very long title but this book was incredible it gave it five stars i absolutely loved this book it provides a lot of like information that a lot of people just just simply don't consider extremely insightful in a lot of different ways like it talked it talks about you know asexuality obviously uh, but it also talks about just like sex and desire and romance and all of that in a more general sense as well so i think that this is a book that i would highly recommend that anyone read like you don't have to be asexual or demisexual or aromantic or anything like anybody could read this book and still take away a lot of good information um, that could not only help you but also help you to understand like other people and stuff like that to be able to see things from you know other perspectives that are not your own or other perspectives that you have not considered but I absolutely loved this book um, I do identify as asexual but um, that aside like I said even if you don't this is still a really good book that I would very much recommend that anybody and everybody <laughs> read. So Ace also for me served as one of my goals for 2023. One of my goals for 2023 was to read at least I think two nonfictions. So this is one of two so I can check that off my list. Also for the um, Choose Your Own Adventure that Book Roast is doing um, I'll link that down below as well. But the prompt for February is to read a book with um, only words on the cover. So that is the book that I am using for that as well. Um, there's there is like some weird like color on it, but there's not like a picture of something. It's not an actual like image or drawing. It's just like some weird like paint swooshes or whatever. So I'm gonna use that as my book with only words on the cover. And going right along with Ace, I also read Loveless um, by Alice Oseman, I think is the author of that book. And that book, what did I give? I think I gave it four, 4.5 stars. So I did really like it. I've, I of course liked the asexual representation. This book is basically, um, I guess, a coming of age story if you will. So this book follows Georgia and she starts off as a senior in high school and it transitions into her freshman year at college and she's basically trying to understand why she feels differently or views differently sex compared to you know all of her friends like the way that she um, has experienced or hasn't experienced sex and relationships and things like that she just feels like maybe there's something wrong with her like she doesn't understand like why things just are different from her than they are for everybody else and she basically goes on this journey discovering that she is asexual which is not a spoiler because that's in the synopsis um, but she also has like three or four friends that are also a part of the story a part of her, her story but they also kind of have their own like sexual identity journeys that they are also going through so you kind of get to you know see them go through their stuff as well and they kind of all go through it together they're kind of all wrapped into each other's stories um, so it's a really interesting book a lot of good um, you know messaging and themes and things like that I think one of the reasons that I was a little bit disappointed didn't have anything to do with 
like the plot or the characters or anything like that necessarily the banter for me just felt a little stiff i don't know i usually really enjoy reading books where like the characters like the friend groups like i've talked about this uh, with good girl's guide to murder with the fear even in um the do-over like i love some good banter between characters and i feel like this book like tried to have good banter and it just was missing the mark for me I think that as the book went on it got better but especially like in the beginning I don't know the the, fr the the banter just felt stiff. So the last two books that I read this month were both books that I read for a vlog that is probably going to come out next Friday which is also my birthday um, but it it's gonna be a vlog where I'm reading arcs so I read The Golden Spoon by Jessa Maxwell that was the first one that I read. So for The Golden Spoon, that book was described as being like um, The Great British Bake Off meets Clue, which I think is a very accurate representation of what this book was. Um, it's basically about these six contestants and these two hosts, and they're all staying at this manor or this estate where the baking competition is being filmed. And so while all of that is going on and they're there for that, there's also a body that ends up turning up. Um, so it's that's where the mystery aspect comes in. There's also another mystery that's taking place besides just the murder part. Um, there's a whole other mystery that's also taking place. Um, so there's a lot going on. And you get the POVs of I think like seven? No the six contestants plus okay so you get the perspective of seven yeah you get the perspective of seven different characters so each chapter is a different character's pov um and it just like basically rotates through the seven of them um but yeah i'm not gonna say too much about it because like i said i have a whole vlog coming out next week about it so if you are interested in how i you know felt about that book and reading it then check that out what i will say about the golden spoon is that the golden spoon was on my list of five star predictions for the year and unfortunately it was not a five star read but that's all i'm going to tell you i'm not going to tell you anything else about the book you'll have to watch the blog and then the second book that i read for the video and the last book that i read for the month of february was yours truly by abby jimenez now i had never read anything by abby jimenez before i had seen a lot of people talking about um part of your world was a book that i had seen a lot of people talking about saying really good things about it so that when i got the opportunity to read yours truly i was like okay like let's check this out let's see you know if i'm gonna like this book um and i'm not gonna give too much away i'm not gonna say too much about how i felt about the book you'll have to watch the vlog next week um to see my thoughts and um you know all of that but what i will say is that i do recommend this book however like with the caveat that this book does include some more heavy um content so some of the content warnings that i would give you for this book is stuff like cheating divorce pregnancy issues mental illness um, even like physical illness as well um, so it definitely includes some heavier topics but it is a rom-com and that's all i'll say i highly recommend as long as those you know the, that type of content is not going to be triggering for you i highly recommend this book if you like rom-coms that's all i'll say and so yeah those are all the books that i read for the month of february um i think that february so far has been my best reading month since i started reading like lots of lots of high ratings in this month i don't know if any month is going to top this month i don't know if i'm gonna read this many five star reads in one month moving forward so if you have read any of these books let me know that down below in the comments and what you rated them or if you're interested in picking up any of these books let me know that down below as well as always my social links will be down below in the description don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye So for the Great British Bake Off, wow, that's not what it's called. <laughs>